In this video, which is titled as Windows Recycle Pin Forensics, the forensic importance of the recycle pin to the digital forensic investigator is covered in this particular video. Apart from this, the demonstration of how to uh, extract the important forensic details from the recycle bin, so that is also covered in this particular video. As we are aware of that recycle bin of the windows, it maintains the deleted files. So, if apart from that, it also maintains the details, the metadata about the deleted files. So now, uh, in case of uh, the operating system like Windows 95, 98, and NT 2000 and XP, so there were a kind of a folder were created like recycled and the recycle bin. So these particular folders were the system folders of the windows which were maintaining the deleted files. Now when a particular file is deleted, it is going to be moved to the recycle bin. And when the first time a particular user deletes that particular file from the hard disk of the computer system, a particular subfolder is created in the particular recycler directory. So in case of uh, Windows NT 2000 and XP as I discussed, a recycler folder is maintained, a directory like a recycler is maintained, which maintains the details about the deleted file. Similarly, in case of Windows 95 and 98, it maintains the recycled directory for maintaining the details about the deleted files. Now, uh, when a particular user deletes a particular file, in case of NT2000 and XP Windows operating system, a particular subfolder is created with the, the user's security identifier. So, and that is created in this particular directory that is a recycler. What this particular uh, security identifier meant contains, directory contains, it contains an info file and this particular info file determines, it maintains the metadata about the deleted files. So what this metadata is, the, the details about the deleted files such as the name of the file where actually it was located on the hard disk. Also the date and time of the deletion. So all those details are maintained in the info file of the and in the NT Windows NT 2000 and XP operating system. Now with the so this is what a particular demonstration uh, demonstrative image of that. Like uh, uh, in the uh, Windows XP, whenever you go to the C drive on the command prompt. So you, uh, what we have to do, we have to use the command recycler CD recycler and we visit will go to the recycler directory. Now here at this we have to use the command tir slash h. Now with, when you click this command, we get the details about the particular the directory. Like what are the, the security identifiers are there for a particular user, so that will be demonstrated. So let's say we pick up this particular uh, uh, this security identifier and we go to that particular uh, directory of that security identifier and use the command dir slash ah. So when we use this command, we'll see the contents of this directory which is having a particular file in photo. So this particular file maintains the metadata about the deleted file, like its name, size of the file on the hard disk, and the date of the deletion. Also its path, where actually it was stored on the hard disk. Now, uh, what this particular that we discussed just now is that it maintains the main photo file it maintains the date and time of the deletion of the info file. Now, if uh, we delete uh, a particular file, only those deleted files, means if a user deletes a particular file from the hard disk of the computer system, only those details are maintained by the, means metadata about those deleted files are maintained by the info to file. But the files which have been deleted by the operating system, they are not maintained by the info to file. Okay, so only the details about the user deleted files, they are maintained in this one, in the particular info to file. The, in case of, uh, the, that means after the Windows Win Vista and 7, the contents of the re recycle bin have changed. If you wanted to access the recycle bin directory through the command prompt, so what we have to use uh, this particular command, that is, that is dollar recycle dot dot so by using this particular command, so we have to use this command like on the command prompt cd space dollar recycle dot pin. So we can go to that particular uh, 
recycle bin directory. Now in the, uh, the latest operating system after the Windows Vista and the 7 onwards, so there is no input to file uh, in the recycle bin for a particular directory or the user directory. So that have been removed. Now still, we wanted to access that particular data for the particular file, um, deleted file. So how we can access that data? So for that purpose, we had to use a tool like a dollar i, dollar i pass. Uh, in case of uh, the recycle bin, uh, means uh, in the recycle bin folder, the deleted files uh, they are maintained. The, the metadata about that is maintained by using the dollar i index file. In case of the latest operating system, the index files are maintained, uh, which are which begins with the dollar i. So they are indicates uh, the index file, and those index file maintain the data about the particular deleted file. Like in case of the earlier operating system, uh, we are having the info file, info to file, but uh, nowadays uh, that have been removed. So instead of the info to file, we are having the dollar index file which maintains the details about the deleted file. Now we will see the demonstration of, of uh, how to do the uh, digital forensic investigation of the recycle B on the Windows 10 operating system. So the system that I am going to uh, use for the demonstration is a Windows 10 based operating system. So I have typed the CMD command. I have to run as an administrator. So open this as an administrator. So we open this. Now we are at this uh, particular prompt. So use the command cd slash. So we are, we are the C drive now. Here we have to use the command cd dollar recycle pin. Now we are in the recycle bin directory. Now if you wanted to know what are the contents of this particular directory, so we have to use the command dir slash ah. So we can see the various directories, okay, which have been created under this particular directory. For every user of this system, we are having the, the, the security identifier assigned to those particular user. Now if you wanted to know the which particular security identifier is associated with which particular uh, directory so we can uh, or with which particular security identifier so we have to use the command wmic account name gate name sa so in order to know uh, the details about the particular security identifier uh, to which particular user it have been associated so we have to use this command wmic use space user account space gate space name comma sid so you can see so we are having the the name of the user on this side and the security identifier that is associated with the particular user now i am the associate user so i will use this particular uh, security identifier directory and I will see the contents what is available in this particular directory. I think in incorrect I have typed.
Okay, now we are in the, the, the particular SFD security identifier. Uh, now, in order to know what is the content of this particular directory, we have to use the command dir slash a. Now you can see uh, in this particular directory, the various index files are there. Okay, like $i50.exe. Five this is the index file which is associated with some executable file. Similarly, this $i, this particular is also associated with a particular executable file. Then .mp4, this index file is associated with some mp4 file. Likewise, then there is a particular $r file. So this $r file actually maintains the data about the deleted file. So now, uh, in order to uh, uh, explore this, what is the, the deleted files are there in this particular directory, okay, for the, which have been deleted by the ASUS user, we have to copy this particular file at another particular directory. So let's say I will create some directory on the desktop of my system. Let's say I create some new directory and give the name to this directory as the recycler. Recycler. Now it is on this particular uh, desktop of the system and it is on this particular path. So Now the next thing what we have to do is we have to copy this particular file all this dollar uh, i file to that directory dollar i star c colon slash users So I am copying these files on this location. Now all these particular files have been copied to the directories on to this particular directory. Okay, C colon users slash. Rather, we wanted to copy into a particular recycler directory. So now they have been copied to the uh, desktop itself. So we are copying this particular file to the recycler directory. So we can see uh, in the recycler directory. So all these files have been copied. The, the, the metadata file. Now what we have to use, we have to make use of a particular dollar i pass to. So we have to give the path of the particular directory where we are stored that all the index file. So they are available on the desktop. I have created a particular folder and I have given the name to that directory as a recycler. So I have to give the path to that directory that is a recycler. Okay. Okay. And click on the OK button. Now I have to create a particular output file where uh, whatever the information that is going to be accessed is going to be saved in that directory file. Like from the, uh, uh, this particular directory, uh, this R dollar I underscore parse two is going to parse all the index file and from the, the information that is extracted from that uh, $i index file is going to be stored in this tab separated values file that is given name as a try. Save. Now pass the file. So five files have been passed and now we can check the details that we obtained. So now we can open this particular file with the notepad. So we can see that uh, we have extracted the details about the file files which have been deleted by the the particular ASUS user. So you can see uh, that some files, uh, these are the executable files which we obtained, the names of the executable file and there was some untitled trail underscore dream mp4 file which have been also deleted by the user. 
So the date and the time of the deletion also have been displayed over here. So this way uh, we can perform the digital forensic investigation of the Windows Recycle Bin. So even if uh, the, the files have been deleted uh, by the particular user uh, means from the Recycle Bin, permanently deleted from the Recycle Bin by the user, still the index file they are going to maintain the details about the deleted file. So, forensic investigator can investigate this particular file and they can identify uh, the files which have been deleted also. So, thanks for watching this particular video on the digital forensic domain. So, if you like this particular video, please click on the subscribe button to get the notification for the future videos on the digital forensic.